So we have more stuff on the corn for on the floor. That's good though. You can, I mean, it's good to vary as it is. And there's a lot of things you can do to make the core even more exciting. Um, and again, if you're going to work it five days a week, like we should, you know, you might get a little bored doing the same thing. So for seven days a week, as you do. No, 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 I don't do seven. Oh, yeah, they don't do the news on Sunday. Uh, uh, so sick. Uh, uh, all right. So uh, Vandra did a study in 2020. Winstrup did a study in 2015. Um, and they talk about using uh, resistant exercises that we're going to do in a second. But first, I just want to mention the body blade because I know a lot of people will use that. Um, if you haven't seen it, there's Dana showing it to you. Uh, basically, you hold on to it. This is a more side study. Mm -hmm. um, and he said if you use it horizontally, so turn it horizontally, it really doesn't do much. See how easy it is? Horizontal is relatively easy. All right. I feel it kick it in my core. Let all free the vertical is real required. So you hold it vertically, and what you try to do is keep this from moving. That's why I made data to it. But if everything wiggles, then we'll jiggle. And then you move that and try not to jiggle anything here, but to jiggle this. It's not easy. No, it's not. And it's expensive. Yeah. But it's but it does contract your abdominals versus one dollar. Okay, you go to the dollar store, you pick up a sound tube. And basically, you do the same thing, but now you make a circle. And what's fun is it makes noise. Okay, but <laughs> that is my favorite. Now, this is that is my favorite. And I so you have, have to keep your hands still while you do that. Can and you do it again? No, you need to try it again. All right, one more time. <laughs> Thank you. Your turn. Oh, okay. All right. Too much fun. What? Look at you. There you go. I mean, come on. <laughs> All right. So you got to sound that tune for a dive. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. And you can do that. All right. Now we're going to get into some, the the, the ones, the other ones I've mentioned. And so you're going to start and work on the table. Yeah, I'll show you some on the table. So you're going to do these lying down. And you do have to kind of configure a resistance band to something. So you want to kind of anchor it in for the first two exercises. I'm going to put it around the banister here. Um, so it takes a little bit of a... Uh, Set it up. So the band's going to go above your head. Ideally, it would be straight above me. But you're going to do a crunch with resistance. So a basic setup. Oh, and then you're pulling the band as you go. And it does take a lot of work. When you add that resistance to it, it really ups the intensity of the exercise. So you want to try to lift and get your shoulder blades off the table, or at least the top of your shoulder blades. And make sure you're not crunching your neck up. So keep a little space between your chin and your chest. You want to do it straight down, and then you're going to do the oblique. So off to the side, one side, and then the other side. And you're going to go, is it about 10 on each side? I can't remember. Yeah, okay. And then, so that you're working the side body a little bit on these. Then you will take the band, and you're going to put it around your the back of your legs, below your knees. And you're going to move up into what's called a tabletop position or just a 90-90. So 90 degrees at your hips and 90 degrees at your knees. And then the band is also being held in your hands. At the same time, you're going to extend your arms and your legs a little bit. And as you do that, you want to try to not let your back arch off of the ground. So here, you're going to gently tighten the stomach muscles, pull your belly button in towards your spine to try to keep your back in contact with the ground. And then you're going to extend and back to center. Now, this is pretty hard. So if you can't go out the whole way, only go as far as you can before your back gives into that arch position. So that's the next one. Then we also want to work the muscles on your back because our core goes the full way around our body. This one, you're going to lie down on the band. And this can go kind of under your hips, your pelvis. And then you're holding the band at the side. And at the same time, you're going to lift your arms and your legs. So you're going to extend and lower back down. So the resistance comes as you lift and back down. If that's hard, start with just the upper body. And then add in the legs as you can, as you feel a little bit more able to lift a little, a little with a little more ease. Um, and Carol's going to show you the next two. So at this here, and I'll push the table back. All right, so I'm going to save you, what, the $5,000, I think, for the total. Not <laughs> uh, and They have the monthly fee because this is one of their favorite exercises uh, on the total system. And that is you just hold, and what you're going to do is you're going to rotate your trunk. Now, you keep your hips stable, 
All right. And what you're going to do is really get a good trunk rotation with arms straight. All right. You're going to do that both directions. So you'll go the other way. Then you do diagonals. You can do a chop up or you can do a chop down. I do both. So you hold and you chop up. Again, don't let those hips move. Okay. Keep those hips stable. Lift up. All right. Then you cut and you do both sides or you can do a chop down. The fool will stay. All right. And then you pull down on the chop like that. So try to keep your hips stable and you can really feel those obliques coming in when you do these exercises. Now, start with 10. If it seems easy, you can either increase the resistance or come on in. You could do more repetitions. Um, you know, you really want to fatigue. You want to feel like, wow, I can't do any more. So either make the weights heavier or do, you know, up to 30 for these. Because it's a type 1 muscle fiber, so you can do more repetitions right. to fatigue. So that means it's more endurance muscle yeah, rather than like big power. Yeah. Yeah. We need those endurance muscles to hold us upright with good posture. Yeah. And I want to reiterate how important it is when you're doing the ones that Dana showed you to really keep that back against the table. Yeah. You want to make sure there's no arch or there should absolutely be no discomfort in your back when you're doing these. Yeah. If you feel any, just stop. And, and yeah, but you know. really try to, it's not just moving your legs in the band, it's using that core. Yeah. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for listening to this episode. For the most up to date information about our videos and our products, please visit our website at exerciseforagingwell.com. And be sure to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and tell your patients, your friends, your neighbors, your parents, your dog to listen and to do anything to spread the word. Together, we can create a healthier, more pain free, and active future. Thank you again and stay healthy. Thank you.